I thought you wanted Word some. associations here. Oh, you Beach want... or mountain for vacation? Beach. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Oldies or classical music? Classical. Blackjack or roulette? Blackjack. Green Bay or Denver, which one did you pick? Denver, uh, Elway, I'm old. I'm Underdog. Elway. I'm, I'm Elway never Blondes or brunettes? Uh, this really doesn't matter. <laughs> and, if you were <laughs> and if you were stranded on a desert island with one of these three people, which one would you choose? Both. Robert Redford, Tom <laughs> Cruise, or Warren Beatty? If you had to be stuck for like this two weeks. This is the 90s. <laughs> if you had to get stuck with these guys, which one? Robert Redford, Tom Cruise, or Warren Beatty? For an indefinite period of time. Indefinite period of time. This is taking a long time to answer this question. Well, I'm heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I, got, um, I, know, I know them well. Uh, I can't answer it I can't, because it, I, it's going to get back to the two I don't pick, and their feelings will be so hurt. <laughs> okay. You have fears. Like, I, snakes give me the willies pretty much. I don't like right. them too much. I yeah. don't think about drowning too often, but I do think about it right. when I'm in the water. Do you have fears? I'm not a good swimmer, so yeah, I, I've been, I, I've had a couple near problematic moments uh, in the ocean where I thought I wouldn't get back, so yeah, I retain a fear of that. Snakes don't bother me one bit. <laughs> I guess I'm a southern boy and I oh, used to see oh, the, the water oh, moccasins. Oh, I see. We used to hear about people falling in beds of water moccasins and eating, and be, oh. uh, so it always gave me the willies. No, Sharks scare a lot of people in the water. Right. Doesn't right. bother you. I've never seen one in the water. I think it would give me pause if I did. I heard in this movie you're kind of like an Arnold Schwarzenegger guy. You do these one-arm push-ups, and are you kind of a, I didn't know you were an athlete, really. I knew you were a runner, maybe. Yes, I've, I've been an athlete all my life. I, I'm uh, basically an athlete. You're a jockey kind of guy. Yes, I'm a jock. It's, it's, it's one of the things I keep in the closet. Broadway jock. Yes, off-Broadway. Off-Broadway jock. jock. When you're involved in something like an Oscar race, is that kind of a goofy time if you're nominated for that? No, goofy? No, mm -hmm. it's a much goofier when you're not nominated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you really get goofy. <laughs> but do you get nervous? So you get, you know, you feel like you have to do the right thing during that period, you know, say hello, be a little extra nice during the voting period, or you hide, or what? Well, no, there's, I mean, there's 90,000. I don't even know. I, I know in the Screen Actors Guild, uh, we, I just got nominated, and there's, 90,000 members in the Screen Actors Guild. In the Oscars, I think it's everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, if I get nominated this year for an Oscar, I'll feel, I, I will feel fairly confident that I'm not going to win, so I think it, it'll be a little easier time for me. Mm -hmm. uh, both Jim Sheridan, who directed The Boxer, and I remarked when we went to the Golden Globes, we said it's the first time we enjoyed it. We, he said, "Yeah, it's wonderful there." He says, "He says, you know, I knew I wasn't going to win, so I could just watch the room, <laughs> you know, and I could, I knew I wasn't going to win. I knew I didn't have to worry about a speech, so I could drink my vodkas and just. It was one of the best movies I've ever seen. Well, back to the days of, you know, we're talking about about struggling actors once before. Do you ever have fears that you know you're going to wake up someday and be poor? Because I'm sure you had those days when you woke up in New York when you didn't have any money, and that probably freaked you out. No, I never did. I never, I never, I've never gone without any money. Uh, I hung out with Gene Hackman and we were both unemployed or unemployed as actors. I worked as a waiter and he, he was moving furniture up and down six floor walk-ups with refrigerators on his back. But the big difference, and Bob Duval was working midnight shifts in the post office, we all hung out together. Gene Hackman, however, was married and had a child. It was a very different situation. You really don't starve in this country. Uh, you know, you, you, I mean, ask an unemployed actor. I mean, if we, in those days, we'd work a certain number of weeks and we would earn the right to collect unemployment, mm. which was, at that time, the maximum was about $45 a week. You can live on $45. We could live very, very easily, unless you have a family. Then, yes, you can starve. But, but Dustin always survives. Huh? You always survive. Well, yeah, you can eat. <laughs> nice seeing you again. Macaroni.